I think many of us would agree there are lots of flaws with fiat currency systems. Take this $100 bill, for example. It is issued by the Federal Reserve, and one of the problems with this $100 bill is that year after year, it can buy less and less things. Let me give you a current example. Last year, I could have bought around 30 gallons of gasoline with this $100 bill. Now, I can't even buy 20 gallons of gasoline. In fact, I'd be lucky if I could even get 16 or 17 gallons with the prices in my area. So, that's a big problem. However, it's not the worst thing. I mean, I can still spend this $100 bill on whatever I want. I could choose to buy gasoline. I could choose to buy silver or gold. I could choose to spend it on food. I can pretty much spend this however I want. But what if I told you there was another system that is rapidly approaching, which is much, much worse than our current system. A system in which there's no cash whatsoever. Every transaction is completely tracked and traced down to the last penny. A system in which you cannot choose your own bank, but you're forced to bank directly with the central bank. They can allow you to spend your money only on certain items. They can put money into your bank account and say, this is only to be used for food. And they'll force you to spend it on food. They can also take money out of your bank account or completely shut it down if they don't like the way you're spending. This system is called a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. And you might think, oh, we're nowhere near one of those. Think again. Get ready for SD Bullion's monster box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of silver eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. This article just came out today talking about CBDCs. We're going to go over this and then I'm going to talk about why you need to be preparing for the inevitability of a CBDC being launched here in the USA as well as in whatever other country you live in because these are coming worldwide and there's going to be a lot of problems when they're in place. There's going to be certain things you're not going to be able to always do. So we'll talk about that. But first, let's uh, kick off with the headline, Fed's Powell Digital Dollar Could Help USD Maintain World's Reserve Currency Status. A U.S. central bank digital currency, CBDC, could help maintain the U.S. dollar status as the world's reserve currency, said Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. The development of CBDCs by other countries could pose competition to the U.S. dollar, Powell said in introductory remarks at the International Rolls of the U.S. Dollar Conference, which the central bank held. Looking forward, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have or are in the process of developing instant 24-7 payments, Powell said. As the Fed's white papers on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. Powell also added that the Fed started looking into developing a CBDC after tremendous growth in crypto assets and stable coins. The goal is to improve on an already safe and efficient domestic payment system, he said. Yeah, that's what they're going to say. Oh, this is to make everything better. This is going to help you. It'll increase national security. It'll help us, uh, you know, fight inflation, whatever. But really what they want is more power. They want totalitarian control. So that's the real goal here. But obviously, they're not going to come out and say that or everyone's going to oppose it. Okay, the Fed recently wrapped up its four-month consultation with the public about a digital dollar. As we consider feedback, we will be thinking not just about the current state of the world, but also how the global financial system might evolve over the next five to ten years, according to Powell. The U.S. is a step behind on CBDCs, 
with 10 countries having already launched their own versions and another 15 in pilot stages, according to the Atlantic Council's Central Bank Digital Currency Tracker. 105 countries, representing over 95% of global GDP, are exploring a CBDC, the tracker said. In May 2020, only 35 countries were considering a CBDC. A new high of 50 countries are in an advanced phase of exploration, development, pilot, or launch. So yeah, this is coming not just here in the USA, but eventually this is going to be everywhere because this is just going to give countries way more control over where the money is spent, what it's being spent on, and they're going to say, hey, this is to help the public, but really they just want more power and more control. Okay, Powell also mentioned inflation in his speech, stating that the U.S. Central Bank is acutely focused on returning inflation to the 2% objective. The Fed's commitment to both our dual mandate and financial stability encourages the international community to hold and use dollars, he said. He pointed out that the Fed's commitment to price stability helps to maintain the confidence in the dollar as a store of value. So in my opinion, this is how it's going to go down. They're going to say, we need a CBDC to help maintain the stability of the dollar. They're going to say this is utmost important. Just like Nixon said, we had to stop the convertibility of dollars into gold in 1971. The reason he said that was to maintain the stability of the dollar. It's right there in his quote. So you used to be able to convert dollars into gold. Now they want to get rid of the cash. This won't even be in the picture at all. Gold was already out of the picture. Now they want to get this out of the picture and have everything be digital. Everything. And they're going to say, we have to do this. Other countries are already doing it. We need a stable dollar. We need to fight inflation. We need more control, whatever. And once we give them this control, once the genie is out of the bottle, it's impossible to get the genie back in. So once we start going down this road, it's going to start small, right? It'll be the announcement and then they'll start the implementation. But eventually it's going to get bad. Eventually, they're going to want everyone to be on this system. They're not going to want people to use cash anymore. So they'll try to outlaw cash. This is their ultimate goal. Once they get every business on board only accepting CBDCs, then they will have complete control. Now, to me personally, this is extremely worrisome to not have any wealth or any ability to buy and sell, make any transaction that is not completely tracked and traced because they could literally not allow you to buy certain things. And I'm not going to get into all the things you may or may not be buying, but uh, one of those we'll just say is precious metals. They might not allow you to have wealth or want you to have wealth outside the system without them knowing about it. So I feel like it's really important to start transferring some of your cash into precious metals now so that you already have wealth outside of the system before this goes down so if you're still on the fence about precious metals it's really smart to start picking some up now so that no matter what happens you will have wealth that is outside of the system not to mention you'll have the ability to keep this wealth for long periods of time without having to worry about inflation also, it's just a great savings account. Once you convert your cash into gold and silver, you don't really ever want to spend it. You just want to hold on to it. So if you're having trouble saving, then maybe consider buying gold and silver for that reason as well. There's so many reasons to buy gold and silver, but definitely one of those reasons is the fact that we're going to have central bank digital currencies in the future, and the, the central bank will have the ability to turn off purchasing in certain sectors, turn off purchasing for certain items. And I think that is incredibly concerning. So anyway, if you have any thoughts about CBDCs, feel free to put those down below in the comment section. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.